Hello, I'm Ranger Scott Steganga here at Table Rock State Park, and we're in the middle of summertime now, and there's an animal that's out there that a lot of people are wondering about and look out for, and that is snakes, of course. And uh, they've been active for a couple months now, and they'll be active uh, a couple more months, at least till the weather gets colder. The one I want to focus on today is the northern water snake. Now, these snakes are not venomous. Uh, they do not pose a threat to anybody. Um, they do get aggressive and very defensive if they're picked up. But if you leave them alone, they're just doing their thing. You know, they're out there eating frogs, fish, and other small animals. And they're nothing to be worried about. But we want to take a look at them today because uh, they are mistaken at times for other types of snakes. So the northern water snake, which is what you find here in these parts of the upstate, uh, it loves to bask. It'll be out along the edges of bodies of water, uh, streams, rivers, on debris piles, logs, what have you, and just taken in the sun. And they are a rather slender snake. They are banded, uh, sort of a reddish brown color. And the, brown, uh, the band's a little bit brighter than the background of the body. And of course, they do, do have a narrow head. It's not wide, there's no venom glands, so that's one way you can tell them apart. Uh, but the pattern is what you need to look at the most. Uh, again, the, the bands are diagnostic on the water snake, uh, and some people mistake it, well, it's a moccasin, it's a cotton mouth. We do not have uh, cotton mouse in the upstate. Uh, they would not survive here due to the colder winters, and so they're a snake of the swamps, more of the swampy habitat in the low country. And so they're also a larger, heftier snake than the northern water snake. Another one possibly confused with is the copperhead. Now, if you look at the photos of these two, a copperhead is a light tan background, while the water snake has a darker brown. Uh, of course, the head, as many venomous snakes are, wider uh, because of the venom glands. Uh, water snake, much narrower. Uh, but if you look at the pattern, that's the best way to tell these two apart. Uh, the copperhead, has these darker bands over top of the lighter tan background. They look sort of like an hourglass shape, or if you look at the animal from the side, it looks like a Hershey kiss along the side of the copperhead's uh, body. The water snake does not have those markings. In fact, its bands are pretty much the opposite. They're wider at the top and narrow as you go down the body, so it's like an upside down Hershey's Kiss, although the shape of it really doesn't look like that. So that's the best way to tell those two apart, just being familiar with the pattern of each snake. Let me show you that water snakes will not attack you and they have no interest in being near us. Watch what this one does when I approach them. So in closing, I'd just like to say all snakes are beneficial. Uh, they're part of the ecosystem, the food chain. Uh, they help control other animal species that could be a problem if they are too many of them. So they're just doing their job out in nature. A lot of water snakes are needlessly killed. Uh, so it's just best to let them be, observe them, and they will not be a problem. Um, let them live. 